Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm here with Brooke Overton from 54 Realty. How are you doing, Brooke? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well, thanks for asking. Um, so today we're doing another one of our little uh, one-on-ones with one of our agents here. Uh, Brooke is with the Leeds Division at 54. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about Brooke, your uh, career as a real estate agent, how you got started with the brokerage, things like that, just to get your input. Awesome. Cool, so we'll get started. Um, so Brooke, I don't really know a whole lot about your background as an agent or with the team, so would you mind telling me a little bit how you got your start in the industry? Yeah, definitely. I was actually a stay-at-home mom for six years. Um, I was looking for something full-time but flexible, and um, my childhood friend Arlena has been with the brokerage for five years, and she actually sold me my house, um, which changed my life. Becoming a homeowner changed my life, and um, just gave me so many opportunities to grow and also to have that wealth, that build that generational wealth um, that's talked about, stop renting, stop paying my landlord's mortgage. And I was just very grateful she helped me every step of the way and I was like, I want to do that for somebody someday. So, yeah. That's awesome. So it was a, you had a personal connection but also you were kind of inspired by your own personal experience and you kind of wanted to make that happen for other people is what I'm hearing. Definitely, yeah. I was 27 when I bought my first house. It just, it blew my mind, um, the whole concept of equity, and I just thought it was this unattainable goal, and the way that my agent, you know, broke it down and made it so easy, had my back the whole time, um, I just wanted to be able to do that for somebody else someday. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that's great to hear. I love yeah. it when people have uh, a positive sort of uh, starting yeah. story like that. Definitely. Um, so I'm wondering too, when you got your start, um, what specifically drew you to 54 as a brokerage? I know you said Arlena, obviously she's been with us for a while. Um, was there anything else that maybe influenced your decision? Just hearing about all her positive experiences. I started with another brokerage um, that didn't have as many leads, didn't have as much success either, but they were kind of lenient and I kind of just drew my line in the sand that, oh, this is probably all I can attain. Um, but then when I joined 54, um, there was just so many opportunities and at first I didn't know, you know, if I could do it and Arlena was just, again, that positive person who was like, you can absolutely do it. You can, you know, you deserve to chase your dreams and um, that's what 54 has helped me do. It's really changed my life. Well, that's great to hear and it's, it's yeah. nice to have someone in your corner like that, right? Yeah, but with that became, I met a whole team, you know. Um, we have great brokers, we have great team leads. It doesn't matter what time I need somebody, um, I always I always get a hold of somebody, whether it's text, email, phone call. Um, even when the team leads are busy, they still take my calls and without all of the, without all of that extra help and without that team approach, you know, I, I wouldn't be as successful as I am. So. It's definitely the whole model. <laughs> yeah, that's great to hear. Um, I'm yeah. curious too, when you came on board, what was the onboarding process like? Was it pretty smooth? Oh yeah. Um, I would say I, I trained the 54 Realty way. You know, I didn't close a single transaction last year, my whole first year in real estate. And I've been with 54 since March, um, really started taking off in May after training and stuff. And I've closed 13 houses since the next you know, more than I ever thought I was ever able to. So it was really, it's, it's been amazing. It's been incredible. Well, that's Very, great to hear. Yeah. Um, I, w I had another question for you. I think some people out there probably don't know this, obviously you and I do, but uh, at the brokerage, we have two different divisions of agents. We have the leads division, which is where you fall, and then um, the independent division as well. Um, there's a couple differences, obviously. I'm wondering if you could speak maybe a little bit to your experience uh, within the leads division. You mentioned already yeah. uh, the number of leads, but if you could expand maybe. Definitely. Um, I love leads division because, especially as a newer agent, um, just the guidance, all the tools, the kind of the checks and balances. Um, I really love that. Follow-up boss, you know, the APs. I could go on and on. I love how 
I'm able to meet new clients every day. And then those clients, they end up referring me other clients, you know, that um, you're not paying referrals for. And I've been able to grow my business so much in five short months. It really amazes me. I have to take a step back. I'm very humbled. I'm very thankful. Um, I think independent agents, they bring in a lot of their own business. So maybe um, it's somebody who's been an agent for a few years and they have, you know, a good, um, you know, sphere of influence. They have repeat business already. I think that that's where the independent agents come in, but I, I really love Leeds Division. I love meeting new people and, um, you know, just making that connection. A lot of first time home buyers too. And I, I just love, you know, I was there three years ago, so I I love working with first time home buyers. Find That's a lot awesome. of that. Yeah. Um, it's great that you get to see a lot of that because I'm sure that that reaffirms that you're doing something that you love. Yeah. Um, and then you said it's only been five months. It feels like it's been longer just because you've been crushing it so hard, right? Yeah, for sure. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of blown by in a sense too. Um, I but at the same time very comfortable in my career. I'm uh, very just, just thankful that I've grown and had this opportunity to grow so much in five months. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Brooke. Um, I just had two more questions for you and then I'll let you go. I know you're busy. Yeah. Um, the next one here is just uh, on the same note as talking about sort of uh, brokerage specific things. What kind of yeah. resources specifically do you think um, that were made available to you as an agent here that have mm -hmm. possibly contributed to your success? I think the way that um, Joe and Rose have just really broke it down, um, they let you just bring your personality into your real estate. They don't try to have this um, this cut, you know, clear cut idea like Coldwell Bank or like all these big brokerages have of what an agent looks like. And so I feel like when you get out into the field and you're meeting people, it just breaks down that intimidation factor that sometimes people have for realtors and. Um, I just think that they've done a great job with teaching you how to connect with people, all different types of people. Also, the systems we have in place, follow-up box is amazing. Working with Zillow, I mean, that's just, it's an incredible blessing. Like, they're awesome to work with. Um, there are just so many opportunities. And definitely follow-up box is very, um, is a very great system. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's pretty yeah. user-friendly. Yeah. I want to say I liked your answer because I can sort of hear similar answers from um, other agents about the systems and uh, people, but you said something that I haven't heard before, which mm -hmm. is, um, and if I'm misquoting you, feel free to correct me, yeah. but it seems like you're saying the culture also has contributed to your success and 100%. the ability to be yourself essentially, right? Exactly. It's not about, you know, what car you drive, this, that, the other clothes you wear, you know, it's really just about bringing your personality um, and just showing how much you want to help people and, and being that person. I think it makes our team stand out a lot more than other teams um, just because you're breaking down those barriers and you're really earning people's trust, you know, from that first appointment and, um, you know, especially listing appointments, Joe's great with teaching you how to connect with sellers and things like that and earning their trust and you know just being a transparent person so yeah, I just absolutely. love that. You don't have to fake who you are I just I've never had that in a career it's very nice refreshing oh, yeah. yeah and um, it makes it a little less uh, dull around here right never a dull moment oh yeah <laughs> it's fun yeah it's, it's, yeah definitely um, awesome well so I just had one more question for you Brooke uh, I was curious if you um, could speak directly to new agents out there, whether they're um, recently licensed like yourself or um, yeah. if they're just possibly they've been in the game for a little while and they're unsure what to look for as far as a brokerage goes, what kind of advice would you give to that person? I would say don't sit in an office and answer phones for a year for nothing. <laughs> um, there's, there's so much more opportunity. I mean, we just, we have an awesome team and they want you out in the field um, helping people making money right away um, you know you're not just being put on the back burner they really want to see all of their agents grow they have all the resources uh, they have the team approach um, everybody works like a family you know you, and any questions you have you just can get answered in it and it helps grow your business I think that newer agents right now that are 
doing desk work and answering phones, I think they're cutting themselves short, you know, much like I did my first year, and they're not um, giving themselves their the opportunity they deserve to grow in this business with a great team. Well, that's awesome. You, you said it way better than I could have. Uh, <laughs> in other words, don't settle, right? You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't settle. <laughs> Well, yep. Brooke, that's awesome. I didn't have anything else for you. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to sit down with me today. Definitely. Thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, I hope no you, have a good day. you as well. Take care. All right.